In this video, I'm going to walk you through what was announced for Copilot Studio at Build 2024. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go over all the different things that were announced. Some of these things came in general availability. Some of them are public preview. Other things are just announcements about things that are coming uh, that don't have anything today, but just giving you a vision of what is to come. So we'll start over on the top left here and we'll talk about the new UX. So there is a new user experience for Copilot Studio. And this new user experience has basically been streamlined to be able to make it work more like what you've seen in the past, being able to um, do things with other Copilot products. So it should look more familiar if you've looked at some of those other Copilot products. I would tell you uh, it's definitely got a little bit of a shell shock for, for you when you first get started, but you'll very quickly be able to uh, start using this much more effectively. And, and it'll make a lot more sense long term with the way that things are uh, laid out within the screen. Now, with that, we'll move to the next section, which is the public preview of templates. So. Templates is this concept of being able to have like starter points for you to be able to start building co-pilots from basically a pre-built scenario. So one thing to be aware of is that this is in a public preview state. So think of it that the ability to have templates within the interface are uh, now available within that public preview. Some of the templates are just kind of getting started and things of that nature. So I would expect these templates to improve over time. However, uh, the concept that you can support templates is in public preview at this point. So you can go and see that uh, within the console. The next step is going to be public preview of building conversationally uh, configure your copilot with a chat experience. So this is the new uh, first run experience. So when you want to create a new copilot, you're going to see that when you do this, it's going to have a whole new experience that's associated to it. And that new experience is going to mean that it's going to have a conversation with you back and forth in order to be able to allow you to create your copilot. Now, if you don't like that experience, you can simply hit the create button and it'll skip right over that particular interface. But this is um, an easy way to help you get started with your basic copilot right out of the box. Now, we'll move to the next generally available item, which is copilot knowledge. Uh, which allows you to be able to ground your copilot in certain knowledge aspects. Now, this you should think of as an evolution of generative answers. And you will notice that there is no turn on, turn off of generative answers anymore. It's because it's on by default. Uh, and if you go and create a knowledge item, then you will notice that it will create the boost conversations topic. I would expect that you're going to continue to see different knowledge sources to continue to come in this space. I think there are a few preview items that are coming uh, on top of the general availability of the knowledge hub. Uh, so definitely take a look at this. But one key thing to call out is going to be the fact that there is now descriptions that are allowing you to explain the context of the knowledge that you're connecting, not just that there's knowledge. So this is really going to be a powerful uh, addition coming to Copilot Studio. We'll move to the next public preview, which is generative actions. Uh, there was a massive increase in functionality that came with uh, the generative actions feature, or just actions in general, as well as you'll hear us refer to this as dynamic chaining. So this move to a GPT-4 based implementation uh, as part of the release at uh, build. However, just be aware that definitely GPT-4 versus 3.5 Turbo has a different performance profile. And I would expect that by the time this comes out of public preview and goes into more of a general availability state, you're going to see us work on being able to make that perform a lot better, but you should be able to start seeing functional testing that will allow you to be able to see um, the accuracy in increases coming from the GPT-4 side. Then 
We'll move down to the bottom left to the next public preview, which is there is um, going to be some new analytics that you're going to see. They're going to have richer KPIs and things like this. So there's a lot more capability that's going to be coming into these different KPIs. Um, and if you don't know what a KPI is, it stands for Key Performance Indicator. It's basically different key metrics and things of this nature that you might want to be able to get information on your copilot. So definitely know that there's a lot richer analytics coming and you're seeing the public preview of the first round of this happening uh, in Copilot Studio. We'll move to the next, which is another general availability announcement. There is a lot of security enhancements that um, that have come in, as well as like changing uh, defaults for admins, having audit logs. These are super powerful new features. So definitely go check these out as well. Uh, and then there's three that were set as coming soon. And the coming soon ones, they are much more kind of things to expect to be coming. It's not in the product today of just things that were shown. So the first thing is going to be, imagine if you're in a SharePoint library and with that SharePoint library, you just wanted to be able to click that you wanted to build a conversational copilot for that document library. And you didn't want to leave SharePoint to do it. You just want to do it right then and there. This is a capability that is looking to come to Copilot Studio because it is really truly Copilot Studio on the back end, but what you're doing is you're, you're going to create this and then there'll be a button that says, go make, you know, customize this in Copilot Studio. So if you wanted to do a little more, you could. Then we get into multimodal support where you saw, um, if any of you guys watched any of the demonstrations here, this is where you invite this, this Copilot to one of your Teams meetings, you share your screen, and then you can ask questions of the copilot about what you're sharing on the screen. And so it can look at things that aren't just words. It can be like the visuals that are being shared uh, through the Teams meeting. And then we have this last item here, which is gonna be image input support. Uh, a lot of people think this is file upload. It's not file upload. It's the fact that just like in any other chat, um, a lot of times when you're communicating, you might want to send an image as uh, a response versus not sending words. And so just think of it that a lot of different canvases, you can upload an image and you can send the image. You can ask a question about what is this and things of that nature. Um, this is what we're talking about when we're talking about this. And so the channel needs to support the ability to send a message with an image. And so this will be one of the things that is super powerful coming into Copilot Studio. So I hope you liked today's video. Know that this was just an overview of what was announced at Build 2024 for Copilot Studio. I'm going to do more videos that go in more depth um, throughout the week or next coming weeks or so. So if you want to see those, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to try Copilot Studio, you can always do that at aka.ms slash trycopilotstudio.